A community now mourning the loss of Fayetteville newlyweds who died in a crash in Texas. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chad Mira. Thanks for joining us for KNWA News at 6. Jennifer Pinate has the night off. KNWA is Lauren Craycall joining us in studio to show us how these close friends and family are honoring the victims this week. Lauren. Friends and family say Evan and Sarah Nessner were per the perfect dynamic duo. They love to travel and enjoy people's company. Evan Nessner was a beloved hog fan. We've seen a lot of uh, muscle mania in the last week, and it, it's pumped us up for basketball season. We've had a good baseball season, so that's what I'm looking forward to right now. I don't even want to even think about football. I spoke with him just 90 days ago on a different story about Razorback football. While the story has changed, one thing remains. He had that personality that would light up the room. According to police in Sherman, Texas, Evan and his wife Sarah were killed in a car crash Saturday, headed to Dallas from Fayetteville. Evan was set to begin a new job, and they were ready to start their new lives together as a couple. Evan's former high school football coach and teammate at Harbor High School remember his spirit. Talk about a kid who was just loyal to everything that you asked him to do. He was always out there trying to do the best that he could do and really always had a smile on his face, encouraging, and was, just was a great teammate to, be, to have on your team. His former yearbook advisor feels the same. He wanted everyone to feel important and like they mattered, and um, he just loved large and, and lived large as well. Although eight years have passed since they last walked the halls of Harbor High, they all remember his smile and the way he made them feel, adding they are so glad he found someone like Sarah to share his life with. Evan was different when he was around her, and, and that's a compliment to anybody, that uh, you can change somebody or, you know, mold them in a way that y'all just fit together. They were always, he and Sarah, always looking for adventure, looking for fun, and enjoyed people's company and enjoyed being around their friends and family. We reached out to both Evan and Sarah's families. As you can imagine, at this time, they aren't ready to put into words their emotions over these two young lives lost. Reporting live in studio, Lauren Craycall, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News. Lots of